What's up guys, Sean here. So today we're gonna to take the Peridonafi up in the air using flight plan. And we're here at Cane Ridge High School um, and we're, this is one of my favorite places to fly close to where I live. And uh, what's great about this, this field is that the school is beautiful, it's immaculate. It has this really cool clock tower that goes up in the front of the school. Um, there's football field, there's baseball fields, there's practice fields in the back. Um, and this is one of the first places I ever did a flight plan mission back with my original bebop parrot bebop so um what we're going to do today is we're going to we're going to do one mission and we're going to do that same mission several times um and each time we bring it down to land we're going to tweak something about the mission and i'm going to show you guys how um while you're at the job site um you can get great camera angles um you know and smooth transition shots um something that's really hard to do by hand um, we're going to test out panorama. I'm going to show you what panorama does. Um, and basically what it does, it takes the drone and it spins it around. Um, I'm going to put 360 degrees, so it's just going to spin it around once and then it's going to go on to the next piece of the mission. And then, um, we're also going to change up camera angles. So let's do it guys. Let's get it up in the air. All right, guys. So I'm going to run through kind of a, um, short version of how I made this plan. So I'm going to start out about 45 feet up in the air in the parking lot. Um, you can see my controller kind of wiggling around over there. Um, and what's cool about this is um, this map view, you can see where the shadows of the light poles are. So you can kind of tell where they are. Um, so here I wanted to fly straight across the ball field. Um, and something else to note is you can get dead center in the ball field um, using flight plan. Um, then I wanted to fly over to the very middle um, and uh, I wanted to open up um, kind of the director here and add a panorama and what that's going to do is going to spin around. I've um, got it at 360 degrees uh, rotation at 15, um, I think 15 feet per second I think that was. So we're going to do it there and then we're going to fly over the stands into kind of the in front of the school oh no to the side of the school then we're going to fly around and as you can see we're at 181 feet now so after we um, left the field we went up to 181 feet up in the air um, and then we do kind of a just kind of go around the perimeter of the school um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to put a point of interest at the clock tower in the middle of the school um, and we're going to make it um, we're going to touch the clock tower we're going to make it about 32 feet up in the air um, and then we're going to go around and we're going to select all the points that we want to point oh nope we're going to change it to about 45 feet up in the air then we're going to hit all the points that i want um, on my mission to point at the point of interest and that sounds really, really confusing, but it's pretty straightforward, guys. Um, you can see that I'm turning all the black and white points to blue, and that's pointing at the blue point of interest. Okay, so in this mission, we have one point of view, and we have another part of the mission that does not have a point of view at all. Now, um, something that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here, and when I selected, um, when I changed the uh, recording to do a panorama, um, it ended up turning the recording off. So I'm going to go in here and make sure that I'm recording at each one of these um, flights between points. Okay? So hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory. And then the next thing I'm going to do um, after I've put all these recordings in is I'm going to put a couple camera angle changes. Um, so first we're going to drag this here um, and first time we're going to change the angle um, to negative 45 I believe um, and this is me just trying to figure out which way the angle is going to point so as you can see the angle is pointing up so I don't like that so we're going to change it to 45 degrees and that's going to be pointing 45 degrees down okay and then we're going to add another camera angle um, to um, the next uh, flight 
um, and we're going to make that point forward. So um, hopefully there'll be a transition shot between 45 degrees and 0 degrees um, right there. And I think that's pretty good. So um, we're going to save this guy. So we're going to hit the Save As, and we're going to title it Cane Ridge 1. Um, and then we're going to run the mission, guys. So here we go. All right, guys, the main thing we want to make sure we don't hit that light pole. So now it's flying over the field. All right, it's looking down, flying over the ball field. Oh, I definitely got the, f got something wrong. But that's still a cool shot. I got the camera angle wrong, guys. All right, we need to make sure that we don't hit that light pole. All right, so this is where we're going to get into position in the middle of the field, and then we're gonna do... Oh yeah, you can see the panorama on the screen. Pretty good. It's a fast panorama, guys, so keep that in mind if you want to do a slower panorama. Um, panorama is basically a 360 spin. All right. We're going to be looking back at the school. And then we're going to clear that light pole. So that's good. Now we're going to do kind of our orbit around the school. Um, I've got 86% battery left on the, on the bird, so we're doing pretty good. Um, it's getting into position in the next shot. Now it's going to start going sideways and fly around the school. So this is pretty cool, guys. And so I've got it pointing at the clock tower in the middle of the school so the entire orbit around the school will be pointing at that point of interest we still have 83 percent battery guys so this is a pretty good mission now if i was doing this freehand i would have to pause between my shots just so i could line up my shot or point my camera angle so what's cool about this, especially if you have a couple batteries, is you can do flight plan over and over and over again and just tweak your different shots. Um, and I'm 180 feet up in the air, so I'm, um, I can tell by looking at the school that that clock tower is about the tallest thing out here. So I know I'm not going to hit anything. I hear the train going, so we might be able to get some train in the shot, but chances are we'll be facing in the wrong direction when we do that. So, so yeah, it's doing pretty good. It's going orbit around the school. It's up in the air. There's a placement over here, so I'm about to see what that's all about. And there's some big birds out here. <laughs> so I'm afraid they don't 
I'm afraid one of them's gonna attack my. All right, looks like we're coming back down. Which might have been an oversight on my part. We probably should have descended after we finished the school. No, we might be good. We're flying around the clock tower right now, kind of looking at it. Yeah, that's a good flight, guys. Now we're back to the parking lot that I started in. We still have 75% battery left, guys. I think we might do this mission again. Now it's coming down. Nice little descending shot of the school. Now something you can do is you can run a mission. That mission took five minutes, guys. Five minutes and that entire mission was done. So if you've got 15 minutes worth of flight time, you can do that mission three times and tweak it. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna bring the bird over to me. Well, maybe I should land it. I think I'm gonna land it to save battery. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix the camera angle over the, the ball field. All right, guys, so now that you've seen the mission, um, we're gonna go in and we're gonna tweak some of the camera angles about the mission and we're gonna do it again. So let's go. All right, so we're, gonna, we're back into the flight plan. And what I wanna do, I wanna go in here. Definitely wanna choose that one. Um, and I want to go in here now I had it at 45 degrees there but I'm thinking we want to start out we're going to start out there we want to change this flight height or this angle, we want to do this um, 90 degrees. All right. Oh, sorry, that was 10. We want to change the angle to 90 degrees. And that's going to be pointing straight down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the footage that I got from this mission. Um, I was out here and I flew two five minute missions and with that I got some pretty cool shots. So check it out guys. Spit my coffee on the floor but I don't really care It's not the same, not anymore There's no way I fade away Without you since you've been gone So many things you need to know All I ever need is to call you on the phone With a number that connects to you I wanna hear your voice come through Then I tell ya how I miss ya I write the things that I did wrong All I ever need is to call you on the phone And I'll be close to you la 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 la
guys, that was it. Pretty sweet, huh? So we're gonna do a couple more of these flight plan missions um, until I become an until I feel like I've become an expert at it, um, and then I'm gonna do my full review on flight plan and give you guys, um, you know, a proper tutorial. Um, so yeah, if you guys like these Anafi videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, hit the notifications bell so that you can get you guys can get uh, notifications whenever I post a video and uh, put comments in the in this video below what did you like what did you dislike um, I'd like to encourage you to be positive don't just say something stupid like paired enough he sucks or something like that um, I'm not gonna really respond to those types of comments but if you have something constructive I would really like to hear it um, so yeah you guys have a wonderful day and peace out